Hello! Today we are making amanita mushrooms, also known as fly amanita, one of the deadliest mushrooms on earth and also one of the prettiest. It's a beautiful red mushroom that has been used in art for many years and will be used for many years to come. Probably one of the most, the biggest inspiration in Alice in Wonderland, hence why it's so popular. But I'm just rambling and babbling, let's go back to the tutorial, shall we? So, we started with a red ball of clay and flatten it out on the bottom, put it on a tile and now we are adding tiny bits of white clay on top of it. We are simply using a toothpick to grab tiny bits of white clay and stick them to the red clay. As the red clay is still unbaked, you do not need to put any liquid clay on top of it, as it will naturally stick. Pretty easy. The beauty of this mushroom is that you can use any colors you wish. You don't need to to use red and white, although it looks the prettiest because we are so used to that form, but you can also imagine all kinds of colors. As usual, your imagination is really the limit here. And just go on and add bit by bit on top of the mushroom cap. Be sure to fill all gaps and holes, you want to have something that is fairly regular. And once you're happy with it, you can just bake ahead the cap. Unless you want to make many mushrooms, then please do all the caps you want. After baking and cooling off, just add some liquid clay on beneath and use a brush to smear it evenly. Then take a small bowl of white clay and put it on top of it or beneath the cap and flatten all around. For the stem, just roll out a piece of tubular clay Cut the ends and add on top. And then using a tool, any kind of sculpting tool will do, a silicone tool works as well, or a toothpick, smooth out the edges so the stem sticks nicely to the mushroom cap. You also can use your fingers, so that's always an option. Never refrain from sculpting just because you think you don't have enough tools. And then we are going to add a sort of skirt. I'm sure there's a specific terminology for that. Just above the stem. So you just cut out a piece of white clay. One side of the strip is a little bit fringy and that is on purpose so it looks more organic. And then again, smooth it all out so it sticks all nicely together. Put the skirts, pull the skirts a little bit up so you can see a bit underneath. That sounded a little bit perverted, but hey, context is everything. And now add the gills. Yes, I know now what the scientific term for those lines are, thanks to a lovely commentator on my last video, I don't remember the name, but thank you very much. So add the gills using spatula tools. These are the same tools I used before and I'm linking them below in the description box because I absolutely love those tools. I'm not getting paid for that. I did pay for the tools myself. They are simply just great. So go on and make all the gills. Take your time to make them look good. Go over them 
again and again. I always go over them at least twice. Then we are adding some texture to the stem. I just use a simple embossing tool, but a toothpick would do the work as well. Once you're happy, bake! After baking and cooling off, we are going to make the base. Just add some liquid clay and then add some white clay all around and give it some texture. This way you ensure that the base is nice and flat and so you can use it better in your artwork. It all depends what you want to do with the mushrooms. Maybe you have a polymer clay base, so I would suggest to do it right on top of that base. I personally used those mushrooms in the sculptured painting, so it was a bit different. You can add some more details and texture on the stems by simply adding some bits of clay on it. This is something we could have done before baking the stem, but I decided to just add some more details after. So no rules here. And just go on and add as much as you wish. And once you're happy with all your mushrooms, bake again. After cooling off, we are simply adding some acrylic paint, some dark brown or black acrylic paint everywhere so you can see the details better because white is white and without the dark brown or black you can hardly see the details which is kind of sad and which defeats the purpose of sculpture or art for that matter so just go over all the details you wanted to enhance The gills are the more important things to enhance because otherwise you just don't see them that much. Besides, adding some dark brown gives the illusion of dirt and mushrooms usually are always a bit dirty. So it just adds to the realism. just go on going over every tiny detail you want to show off and once you're done you can varnish if necessary. I very much hope you enjoyed this video and maybe if you liked it give it a thumbs up maybe just maybe and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye! And obviously you can use different colors, but I strongly suggest you get some good quality alcohol inks. I've been using Piñata because that's the only brand I really know and it's what I find the easiest here in France, but I suppose you can find different brands.